Okay, welcome back. I'm Jody and we are going for our LPQ1 and we are talking about logging systems, although this is much, much, much more useful than only LPQ1. I believe this can be helpful for many, many people. What we saw in the previous section was how Unix and Linux logging system works. Different programs send their logs to a central logging system and this logging system decides what to do with them. Save them in a file, save this one from this priority there, show this one on the another server, send this to the terminal so root users will see it immediately and other stuff. We have different options for this logging system. We used to have uh, syslog, then syslog ng, new generation, but nowadays our syslog is the main dominant player in this area. Although journal D from the system D suit is very, very, very active and aggressively conquering the lands. But in this section, we will speak about Arsys like which presents in many, many systems, including the latest Debian and others. Uh, it's a service, so I can say systemctl status or syslog. It is running happily and it has its own logs and is active. Its main configuration file is located at etc or syslog conf. Ow. Let's see. Less. It has three major sections. Modules global directives and rules. The main part we are going to fiddle with is this one. Modules are like plugins. What is used here? For example, you can have a module for loading UDP support. So you can send your logs to UDP servers or receive via UDP or TCP if you want to share your logs to some other servers. Global directives are some of the general configurations. For example, it says if a new log file is created, the owner will be root, group will be admin, and this will the access of the log. So if I'm here, if I'm Jody and not part of the admin group, I cannot even read the log, but I can enter the directory. Cool enough. And the default working directory is here and include whatever located here, which ends in conf. Global directive just as a general uh, configuration. But the things which are more important are the rules where you need to understand. We will go through them and we'll see them. When a program generates a log, it generates like, for example, if crone is sending a log, it says, I'm crone and I'm sending on the info level these logs. This reaches uh, our syslog and syslog should decide what to do with this. This is called the facility. And this is called the priority. You can have different facilities. These are the list of facilities on a general system. Kernel, user, mail, demons, crone, authentications, NTP, security console, syslog, and some others. For example, there are ones which are called local zero through local six, I think. So you can use them in your own advantage if you want. So, and these are the priorities. From top to down, emergency, then alert, then critical, then errors, then warnings, then notices, then info, then debug. There is no abbreviation. You cannot memorize it like this and you don't need to. But for example, if you say log everything on the info level, it will log everything on the info level and above. For example, if your computer is booting up your, I don't know, you are running a Bitcoin node. Bitcoin node will say, okay, debug. I'm starting, I'm reading my configuration, I'm loading my configuration, I'm starting the GUI, I'm trying to connect to the network, I'm connected to the network, asking for first peer, anything. 
it just goes with all the debug info, debug data. But on the info level, it says, read my configurations, GUI is up, I'm connected to my first P. On the notice, it says, okay, I'm ready to work, for example. On the warning, it says, having problem to connect. Less, but more important. On the emergency, it says, your wallet is broken. On alert, it says, I'm crashing. On critical, it says, I have an exception going down. On error, it says, I cannot show the GUI. For example, I'm just telling you example. So different priorities. When they send it, for example, they send as a user, info, I'm going up. Here on the rules, you have the same pattern. It says from the crone, whatever priority, save it to this file. This is cool. So you can say, Anything from the kernel, whatever priority, save it in this file. So you, it creates different log files for different uh, facilities in this case. You can say, kernel, any warning should go to a different file. And you can write more complicated. For example, this dash here. If you want to check all the data, you can check from the manuals. Man R sys like conf and say okay actions what are the actions says you can have different actions actions was the last part i think i didn't talk about it facility ah, again i don't know how this happened so you have the facility dot priority space action action can be a file name so it says if from this facility with this priority or whatever priority save it here or it can be a username you can send it to the jody so jody will see it on its terminal or you can send to specific ip or syslog on this system will accept this and handle it by itself so you can send more important things to a central server to make sure that it's working because your, RC, your disk might not work. Anyway, on the actions, you can read what it does. For example, for a regular file, it says if there is a minus sign in the beginning, sync won't happen immediately. So if something happens with a authentication problem on whatever level sync will happen immediately you will see it in the exact time it's written in the file and flushed to the file so if you are tailing the file you will see it immediately but here it says okay if a problem with a chrome you don't need to immediately write to, write it to the file you can just wait for another few and then write it because time is not that critical you don't want to write every single one at the same moment so if something huge is happening, you will see lots of activity on your disk unnecessarily. Anyway, so these are different samples. And I think you know much, much more than what is needed. But let's have a talk about this one. It says whatever facility, whatever priority, except authentications because it's none so anything other than authentications will be written here that's why syslog is large and shows lots of things or you can say i've told you normally if you say info priority it means info and above but here you can say exactly equals alert not alert and above and I have a note here which says we have another binary, k log d, kernel things will be logged via this facility. Because if even the RSS log is crashed, you need to see what is happening in the kernel. And at the last, you have one command, which is the logger. You can say logger. This is my own fun log. Where does this go? To the rsyslog. What rsyslog does with it depends on its configuration. 
Here we say whatever happened. If it's not about the authentication, write it here. So it will go to var log syslog. Cow. Cat. Tail is better. var log syslog. This was mine. This is my own phone log. So you have a utility called logger, which logs whatever you pass to it in front. So you can say logger uname dash a. And your uname dash a results will be logged here. So in, if you in your scripts you need to log something, you can use this. Or you can use it in a more advanced way, say logger. I'm sending from local zero info information. This is an actual info. So you are giving it the facility and priority. More manageable and cleaner. This one here. I think you know whatever you needed to know about rsyslog and much, much more. The reason is it's very powerful. You can send to remote host and everything. Have fun. Let's go and see the journal CTL, the more modern from system.